Hello and good afternoon. Happy Sabbath to you all. Welcome to our afternoon program uh, with the adventurers and also the leaders as well. It is a pleasure to, show, to share with you the fatherhood and priesthood. As the world celebrates Father's Day this weekend, we thought it vital to talk about the biblical fatherhood as adventurers. And our program for this afternoon will be like this. We'll start with the role of the father, or the importance of the father in the family, the gap of an absent father, then the father in heaven, uh, the statistics, testimonials, and poems. Uh, we're going to have children's interviews about their fathers. Then at 3 o'clock we have a um, live Zoom meeting where we'll discuss further questions and answers. Um, I'm going to start on the role of a father and the importance or the importance of a father in the family. A father is the head of the family as Jesus is to the church. A father sets a standard to his family. We can relate this to Joshua in Joshua chapter 24 verses 15 when he was addressing the children of Israel. And he mentioned that it's for him and his family. He was going to save the Lord. That was the choice that he made for him and his household. Fathers are there for, for emotional support. For example, to a girl child brought up with a role model father, this has an impact on your social life in your future. Relationship-wise, a father prays for his children and guards them. For example, Job, he would go and sanctify his children and sacrifice for them. Per adventure, they might they might have sinned against the Lord. How beautiful and vital is that role in the family? A father teaches his children. For example, in Proverbs, it's in um, Proverbs the verse that says, train up a child in the way he should go. Then when he's old, he will not depart from it. Imagine the impact of teaching a child from a tender age. That when he grows up, he will not depart from it. We can also relate to the story of Abraham and his son Isaac. It clearly shows how well he had been trained. A father provides for his children. They occupy a critical role in child development. Father's engagement reduces the frequency of behavioral problems in a, in a child's life and also reduces psychological problems and rate of depression in young women. High levels of father involvement are correlated with higher levels of um, sociability, confidence, and self-control in children. Further involvement using authoritative parenting, thus loving with clear boundaries and expectations, leads to better emotional, academic, social, and behavioral outcomes for children. Overall, the impact that fathers and father figures can make is substantial. There are many positive aspects to father involvement. Thank you. Happy Sabbath everyone and happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Uh, today I'll be talking about gaps felt by the absence of a father. Uh, to start I'm going to draw you to the story of Jacob and his 12 sons. Uh, we note in the Bible that when he was dying, he called his 12 sons, sons so that he can talk to them, he can give them encouragement, and also tell them about their future. So I'll read Genesis chapter 49, verse 1 to 2. It says, And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather together, and I may tell you what shall be for you in the last days. Gather together and hear you sons of Jacob and listen to the Israel your father. Listen to Israel your father. An Old Testament blessing of a father to his sons included words of encouragement, details regarding each son's inheritance and prophetic words concerning the future. When Jacob blessed his 12 sons, he also made predictions regarding their future. From this, we are learning that Jacob knew that there's going to be a gap 
in his son's lives since he was going to die, meaning that there was no, the, his sons were not going to have a father to be there for them, to give them encouragement, to talk to them about their future. So he thought it would be best to gather all of them and speak to them about their future. And you know how it is when someone is dying, you always remember their last words. And we note that in the scriptures as we go down the chapter, each and every son received different words from his father. Uh, so we are learning that he knew that there was a gap that his sons would fill. He, and he made sure that he did something before he died. So I'd like to liken this in our everyday lives or to liken this to this life on earth. There are so many changes that happen in life. There are some people who don't have fathers. Some people have never met their father or fathers or never met them. Some, they knew them, then they later died. But I want to talk about the gap that is being filled by the men that are playing a father role to other people's children. I think I also want to include some women. There are some women who don't have husbands, who have children, who are doing it on, on their own. Some of them, they are also filling that gap. So I want to talk about those people. I want to thank you, those people who are filling that gap of fatherhood to other children. You may be doing this on a daily basis, or you may be doing it occasionally, but we just want to thank you and to appreciate you. Some of you are uncles, some of you are friends to other people's children, and you are there as their fathers. I want to say Happy Father's Day to you for those who are playing that role. I know f for some, maybe it was just a one thing. You were in the park, um, in the park and you saw someone's son playing football on their own and you were there to kick the ball with them and they enjoyed it. So I just want to talk about that. Thank you for pl playing that role. And I also want to encourage you to keep doing that, keep being there. And also, as we live in this life, let's pray for opportunities to serve. Sometimes there are families where there's no man in the house and you are there to, to offer some masculine help. I don't know if I can say that. And that's being a father. As a man, you are a father whether you have children or you don't have. But when you offer that assistance, we know that sometimes you need it. You need someone who can help you, especially a man. There are some things that women can't do on their own that need men. So I want to say all of to, to these fathers who are playing a role, who are being there for other children, that happy Father's Day and to encourage you to keep doing that. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm back again. Uh, I just want to talk about the role of a father to an unborn child. As you know that uh, we, the Munangwas, we're expecting. So I'm going to talk about what I've seen my husband do. Uh, so the role of a father is to offer support to the wife, uh, financial, emotional, physical support. I think the ladies we have been pregnant before know how it know how it is to be pregnant. You need a lot of help with most things that you do. So I think the father plays a role in supporting the wife. Housework, <laughs> emotional support, encouragement. Sometimes it's hard and the husband is there. Okay, let's call him a father. He's a father already. The baby is there already. I know some people wait to call him a father until the baby is born. Is born. But I believe the baby is just inside and he's already a father. So... I've seen the father of my child uh, offering a lot of support to me, like words of encouragement, uh, emotional support, physical support, and also praying for the baby. We started praying for the baby as soon as we 
knew that we were expecting and it's something maybe that i had stopped doing but i've noticed that every day when we pray he prays about the baby and it's something that i've also started doing praying for the baby all the time so that's what i've seen the role that is being played by by my husband so yeah well fathers can start playing the role already before the child is even born as it is needed for the health of the child because if the mother is not help, healthy and if the mother has issues or maybe in the home everything is not okay to stress the mother so it's still an important role for the father to start playing already to make sure that the mother is happy and uh, stress-free so that may have a healthy baby so happy father's day to ruben it will be his first time to be a father so happy father's day thank you priesthood fatherhood it's such a beautiful thing to okay to a man god created it that way it brings happiness it brings joy it brings fulfillment yet to some is such a complex sensitive subject Mm, this this segment i'm here to talk about our father our creator our lord but before we talk about that let me take you through some staggering statistics which caught my eye about a family so in 2020 june 2020 australian bureau statistics released these reports uh, so they were 7.2 million families in Australia one in seven were one parent family and um 6.1 million were couple families and when i say couple families it refers to different family structures nuclear family which is a uh, traditional a uh, type of family structure men and a woman living together with or without children single parent family extended family childless family um living together with without being married um same sex couples uh it could be a man and a man living together and having children or a woman and another a lady living together having children it also could be single parent surrogate ivf and many different sort of family setup what also caught my eye is um within that context um 21.3% of the couple families uh the head children within the age group of 0 to 4 years and both parents in that uh, segment yeah, both parent in 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 that in that particular range were working so who is looking after the children the 0 to 4 and you know how important it is for that age group to have um own parents looking after them so it means that one in seven families were a one parent family and so the percentages are 1 million out of the out of the 7.2 1 million uh which is 14.2% were one parent families and out of that 1 million 79.3 of these were single mothers So what's the big deal about um uh, uh, this research uh is from uh Canada uh I'll just quickly go through the the issues uh in raising children uh with the gay parents <clears throat> We have already uh learned the importance of the father uh who brings a distinctive array of 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 enterprise within 
a child and how children will excel and successful and you know the presence means a lot i'm not gonna go into detail but here i'm just gonna uh, say the the research in terms of the serious psychological academic and social problems um, in youth raised in fatherless families it did demonstrate the importance of the presence of a father in a home uh, for a healthy childhood development. So the research also says, this was a Canadian study in 2013, research says the girls are more uh, likely to struggle academically than the boys. Um, daughters of lesbian parents display dramatically lower graduation rates Three key findings stood out on this study. Children of married, um, of opposite uh, parents, of opposite sex parents have a high graduation rate compared to the others of children of lesbian families have a very low graduation rate compared to the, uh, to the other types of children. Um, also the report uh, says... Uh, um, there were challenges relating to their ability to trust others. Uh, I'm just highlighting the few bits and pieces which I, I thought I can quickly share. Uh, also, the gay or bisexual fathers are difficult with the difficult in attachment issues in three areas. They were less comfortable with closeness, uh, less able to trust and depend on others. They ex they experienced anxiety in relationships and um, yeah, many other problems. Also, also there was a, uh, uh, they are likely to suffer from a broad range of emotional and uh, social problems. Um, so it just shows how the issues with adjustment problems, behavior problems, uh, aggressive problems, antisocial behaviors, emotional problems such as anxiety and depression, uh, attention uh, deficit, hyperactivity disorder, those were more prone and very common in, in, in um, setups, family setups like those ones. Here I was just trying to show you um, what's happening around the country and the uh, the issues, the statistics around uh, around families with, without the father, without the presence of the father or, or with all these different family setups. So uh, going back to our father who is in heaven, our father God, uh, who is our creator, who is our king, who is our hero. Um, he's the father of all. I'm not sure what you are going through or what you have gone through, but this father I'm talking about is the father of the condemned, is the father of, 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 of children who have not known their father, of children who, who, who have not been looked after by their father, is the father of the fatherless, is the father of the divorced, is the father of the singles, is the father of the rejected, is the father of the strangers, the father of the foreigners, the, fathers, the father of the immigrants, is the father of the poor, of the rich, the father of the young, the father of the old, the father of the deceased, the father of the widows, the father of everyone, the father of all nations. So he is the father of orphan, orphans, the father of um, disowned people. He is the father, our creator, Elohim. He is Jehovah, my Lord God, Adonai, my master, El Shaddai, my supplier, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Jehovah Nisi, my banner, Jehovah Makadesh, my sanctifier, Jehovah a, the strong one. So listen to what he says in the book of um, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 to 7. 
you know it talks about love love is patient love is uh kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self seeking it is not easily angered it's delight it's beautiful so when we have that unconditional love when we receive an unconditional love from him from this father we find that there is power in and action and we find hope and courage if you are a father let not the past distract you if you are planning to be a father let not history hinder you let not the cases and burden of this world fails you know that you have a father above who is ready to guide you who is ready to to role model you who is the role model of a pure priest of your home if you are in whatever circumstance do not be discouraged know that there is a father who is there to provide you to hold your hand to show you the way to show you how a priest is like in a home so this is what he says in the book of 2 Corinthians 6 verse 18 it says and i will be your father I, and i will be a father to you and you shall be sons and daughters to me says the lord almighty and in psalms 103 verse 13 he gives us a promise he says as a father has compassion on his children so the lord has compassion on those on those who fear him he also shows us his unconditional love in the book of second samuel 7 verse 14 to 15 he says i will be a father to him and he will be a son to me when he does wrong i will discipline him in a usual way the pitfalls obstacles of this mortal life but i will never remove my gracious love from him how wonderful to know that we've got a father who is there for us we also know in psalm 32 verse 7 to 8 that You are my hiding place you will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance In Luke 15 verse 20 remember the story of the prodigal son how he left squandered everything he could and he came back empty and what did and what did the father do It says but while he was still a long way off His father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. So the father in heaven is ready to embrace you. This world the father could not have showed you the way, could not have embraced you, could not have supported you, but there is a father who is in heaven who is ready any time as long as you fear him. Is long as you say here i am he is ready to take you through in the book of deuteronomy 1 verse 31 he says there you saw how the lord your god carried you as a father carries his son all the way you went until you reached the place and um um also want to share the the probably the last uh text and I'll leave most of the things so we can have a discussion about it uh this afternoon uh so this is Ellen White giving counsel to to fathers and she says to the man who is a husband and a father I would say be sure that a pure holy atmosphere surrounds your soul you are to learn daily of Christ never Never are you to show a tyrannical spirit in the home. The man who does this is working in partnership with satanic agencies. Bring your will into submission to the will of God. Do all your power to make the life of your wife and children pleasant and pleasant and happy. Take the word of God as the man of your counsel. 
in the home, live out the teachings of the word. Then you will leave them out in the church and it will take them with you to your place of business. The principles of heaven will ennoble all the transactions. Angels of God will cooperate with you, helping you to reveal Christ to the world. And this quotation is from Adventist Home, pages 211 to 223. May the Lord bless you. May you find comfort, strength, and happiness in the Lord, knowing that He is your Father. Thank you. Uh, greetings, saints, and I'm um, privileged to be talking to you at the Sabbath as we celebrate fathers. Um, so I'll be talking to all our young men that are there in the church from our adventurers and to the men that are presently fathers. So this a uh, message for them. Um, a verse to take away, which I find very important as we talk about fathers, is a verse that is found in um, Luke chapter 2, verse 52, which says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. What an awesome description about Jesus, who is a man who walked upon or on this earth. While, of course, it's in the context of um, talking about fathers, uh, this verse is not in the context of uh, a father per se, but Jesus was a man uh, on this earth. And the most important thing is that uh, as a young man, as an adventurer who is a future father, and for the men that are there out there who are fathers, the most important thing is that you should grow in wisdom and stature. And, uh, God is asking us that we should ask of him wisdom. Uh, King Solomon asked of wisdom from the Lord and God gave him. And we should increase in stature and in favor with God and men. That is the most desirable uh, attribute that we should have as we look forward to be better fathers uh, for those who are aspiring to be ones and those who are currently uh, fathers that we should grow in wisdom, uh, in stature and in favor with God and men. So I'm just going to talk about two fathers from the Bible. There are many fathers um, whose personalities and traits and how they carry themselves are awesome in the Bible. <clears throat> the first father that I'm going to talk about is Noah. I think it's, it's one of the most impressive stories of fathers uh, in the Bible that you can talk about. And I like the description that is made of Noah in the Bible. Uh, when you go to Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, uh, the Bible reads something like this, which says, uh, these are the generations of Noah. And Noah was a just and perfect man uh, in his generations. And Noah walked with God. What an awesome uh, description uh, to have of a man who was a father, that he walked with God. That's the most important thing uh, for everybody who's aspiring uh, to be a father and everybody who is a, a father, that we should walk with God. Why do I celebrate Noah as one of those outstanding men in the Bible? Because he's one man uh, among the fathers that we find in the Bible who clung to God in spite of all the wickedness that was all around him. Why do I celebrate him? Because it's one of the, the ministry that God has given fathers. It's one of the most important duties that God has given to people that they should be stewards of their family and, and the children that are under them. And Noah is one man who together with his entire family, he found salvation. While um, there's, a, there's a, an awesome description of Lot uh, that is celebrated as one of the heroes of faith, but it's, it's one of those failings that is one man who did not um, find salvation together with his family. We know of his wife who was turned into a pillar of salt. We know of his children um, who, had, uh, who were wicked. And I'm, I'm talking about Noah, who is a man who together with his family, yet surrounded by a world that was filled with so much wickedness, but yet he was a man who is said to have walked with God. And how much more could it be more relevant than today? So Noah was far from perfect also, but he was humble and protective of his family. He's a man who ministered to his family. I'm sure he's a man who had devotions with his family. Otherwise, uh, maybe his story could have been more like the story of uh, Lord. So what lessons can we learn? That God promises to bless and to protect those who faithfully follow and obey him, just as Noah did. And obedience is not a sprint, but a marathon. Uh, it means a lifetime of faithful devotion for the many years that Noah walked with God. Because uh, when you're talking about walking, it's, 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 it's spoken of in the past tense that Noah walked with God. You know, it just it, it, it doesn't talk about an instantaneous thing that it happened for a moment and then it ended. It talked about he walked with God. So he lived a life of devotion. And even the most faithful of fathers, 
they have their weaknesses and may fall into sin. That's something that we learn even from the life of Noah. But yet the ultimate description of his life is that he's a man who walked with God. So to all the fathers that are out there, may it be our goal um, that we are men who have families such as Noah, who is a man who together with his entire family, he found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And then another father who I'll just make mention of, while well, I mentioned that there are many other fathers that we could uh, find certain things to celebrate out of them. Another man is, um, is Abraham, who um, not only is he being a father of his immediate children, but he was a father of an entire nation. And uh, God gave him a great and tremendous uh, mission that he had to carry out. And uh, Abraham, when you look at him, he was a man or a leader of tremendous faith, uh, passing one of the most difficult tests uh, God has ever given to men. That's such, so much such that he offered uh, his son Isaac as a sacrifice. So what we learn from, um, from Abraham as a father is that God wants to use us in spite of our shortcomings, and he will even rescue and support us through our foolish mistakes. So as fathers, sometimes you've got your imperfection. God will support you through your mistakes. We know of Abraham with his mistakes with uh, Hagar, and that was not the plan of God, but God, uh, at the end of the day, uh, he blesses him, and out of him, our old descendants. And that is something that God uh, blessed uh, uh, Abraham with. And also another thing that we learn from Abraham, who was a father, is that genuine faith, it pleases God. So much so that uh, you could do everything for God. As a father, that's something that we should do, uh, that you should have uh, a genuine faith, a tangible faith, not something that is superficial, but a genuine and living faith that it pleases God. And that's a, a trait that as a father you should have. And that's one father that I find worth celebrating. And also um, in the context of celebrating fathers, talk about how God's purposes and plans are revealed in phases over a lifetime of obedience. And God intends to do that even in the fathers of today and even in the fathers uh, to come that uh, you need to have a lifetime of obedience. So these are just two fathers that I found worth of, uh, of, of making mention of as we celebrate uh, the Father's Day. And um, just bidding this message to all the fathers and uh, the young men that uh, be a man who strives after uh, finding favor in the sight of God. And also, when an account of your life is being taken, may you be found among those whose description can be that you walked with God, such as Noah did. Uh, thank you. Being a good father is being a good Christian because being a good Christian means that you lead by example of Jesus. And Jesus was trustworthy. He was trusting. He was forgiving and honest. And those are all qualities of a good father. And yeah, that's what I think it means to be a good father. Hi Tyler. Hi. So today we are doing an, a little interview, a little chat, just to ask everything about your dad. What is your dad's name? Welly. Welly. That's a lovely name. What makes your daddy happy? Hugging him. Hugging him. Good. What makes Daddy sad? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What is... Spiders. Oh, spiders. Oh, I'm scared of spiders too. What is his favorite thing to do? What does your dad like to do? Play. He likes to play. What does he play? Blocks with me. Blocks with you. If you, your dad becomes famous or a cartoon character, who will he be in the Bible? Nonsense. What's your dad's favorite food? Porridge yogurt. Yogurt. What is, uh, your, what is your dad good at? Playing basketball. Basketball. What do you do together with your dad? Mm. Have fun. Like? 
playing. Nice. Do you call your what do you call your dad? Do you call him Papa? Dad? Daddy? Baba? Or oh, Papa? What do you call him? Daddy. Daddy. Okay. Are you and your dad the same? Yeah. Oh. Because he's the same color like me. Same color like you. How are you different? Because I'm black. You're black. Okay. Uh, how do you know your dad loves you? Because I like him. You like him. Okay. Uh, do you have a special message to say to your dad? Mm-hmm. What do you want to say to your dad? I love you. I love you. Good one. And can you show me a smile, like your dead smile? Wow, he's got a big smile. So when your dad comes back from work and he's tired, show me how he walks. Show me. Oh, he's pretty tired, hey? Ah, uh, okay. Hi, Tayana. Hi, Auntie Mobby. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Too. How is school? Are you still in lockdown and are you happy? Yes. That's very good. So today I just want to chat to you about your dad. Just you and your dad. Not mommy, not auntie, not another mommy. No, just you and your dad. What is your, is that all right? What is your dad's name? David. David. Oh, what makes daddy happy? Huh? What makes your daddy happy? Up he plays with me. And he plays with you, good. What's his favorite thing to do? To play. To play? What is your favorite thing to do? What is your dad's favorite thing to do? Favorite thing to do, he go outside and play. Nice. Can you show me your dad smiling? Show me the smile. Wow, that's a big smile. Okay, can you... What is your dad really good at? He's good at soccer. At soccer. What is your dad's favorite food? Our dad's favorite food is spaghetti. Spaghetti, yummy. What makes you proud of your dad? Uh, he always go for a walk with me. Nice. And how are you and your dad the same? I'm wearing the same color. Same color? How are you and your dad different? Because? Is he a boy or is he a girl? A boy. So you're different because you're a girl, yeah? Okay. What makes you think that dad loves you? Happy he loves to hug me. Good. And would you like to sing a song? Which one? Jesus loves me. Good. Sing. Jesus love me, here I know, for the Bible tell me so. Little one to hear me blow, there a weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus love me, yes, Jesus love me, yes, Jesus love me. The Bible tell me so. Hi, Anoise. Hi, Auntie. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. I just want to chat with you about your dad. Okay. Okay, what is your dad's name? Brighton. Oh, that's a lovely name. What is something Dad always says to you? 
He says, I love you and I say goodnight. Oh, nice. What makes Daddy happy? What makes him happy is when he plays with us. Oh, sweet. And what makes Daddy sad? When we're being naughty. Mm -hmm. And what is his favorite thing to do? P painting. Painting. What is what does your dad do when you are not around? When I'm not around. Yes. Um. He. He's. He does painting a lot. Alright. Can you show me your daddy smiling? Okay. Wow, that's a good smile, man. And can you show me your daddy walking? When he's coming back from work? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. He looks so tired. All right. And what is your dad really good at? Good at? He's good at soccer and basketball. Okay. What is your dad's favorite food? His favorite food is pizza. Oh, yummy. What makes you proud of your dad? What makes me proud of my dad is when he does a good job. Like? Like when he's, like when he's riding his bike. Oh, lovely. What do you and your dad do together? Um, to, to do together, we ride scooters and bikes. And we play at the park. Yeah, yeah. How are you and your dad the same? We sing and we do basketball. Together, that's nice. And how are you and your dad different? Different skin. Different skin? Okay. And, and different eyes. Different eyes. Ah, so yours uh, are big eyes or small eyes? Big eyes. Oh, lovely, so you can see better. And how do you know that your dad loves you? Because he's always saying, Good night, Anashe, I love you. Oh, that's a lovely day today. And what is your dad's favorite book or does he have a favorite number or a favorite color? He has a favorite color. I think it's blue. And what's your favorite color? My favorite color is light blue. Light blue, that's beautiful. And where is your dad's favorite place to go? Uh, park. Oh, that's nice. And you said you'd like to sing with your dad. Yes. Do you want to sing a little line like your dad? Yeah. Yeah. Please sing. Oh, huh. Oh, huh. Everybody was come for fighting, huh. Everybody was a little like me, huh, huh. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And do you have a mes special message you'd like to say to your dad? You know, it's uh, Father's Day. What would you like to say to your dad or your favorite verse or his favorite verse? Um, I love you, Daddy. Do you have a verse you want to say? Um, yeah. Yeah? Which one? Be still and know that I am God. 
Oh, lovely. That's a powerful, powerful text there. So that's it. And thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Come down, Almighty King. Help us learn and to sing. Help us to praise. Father, all oh, glorious, all oh, Victoria. Come and reign over us in gentle day. Uh, hi, Levi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Uh, good. So this quick interview or a chat is about you and your dad. What is your dad's name? Mobile Matutu. What makes daddy happy? If I'm being good. And what makes daddy sad? If I'm not doing the right thing. Good. What is his favorite thing to do? Um, to work. What sort of work? Like fixing things that, that are, fixing things that are, are like broken. Ah, uh, okay. And what does your dad do when you're not home or when you're not around? What does he do? He'll be going shopping or he'll be going to work. Ah, okay. Um, so, when your dad is coming back from work, can you show me how he's walking or how he's smiling? That's a good walk. Can you show me his smile? Can you tell me what is your dad really good at? Fixing things and sport and doing his job. That's what he's good at. That's very good. And what is your dad's favorite food? Lasagna. Lasagna, yummy. And what makes you proud of your dad? If I have a broken toy and he fixes it. Oh, oh nice. And you know, you know cartoons, cartoon characters? If your dad were a cartoon character in the Bible, who will he be? Maybe Joshua. Joshua, nice. What did Joshua do? Something interesting? I don't know. Okay. What do you and your dad do together? If he's si fixing something, he will like call me, then I will help him. And playing uh. basketball. Oh, you're such a good helper. And how are you and your dad the same? We do lots of things the same. Like? Like? Like fixing. Okay. And how are you and your dad different? He is older. Ah, and you are younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what is your what is your dad's favorite color or favorite number or favorite book? Orange. And his favorite uh, number is three. What is your dad's favorite place to go? To the restaurant. Okay likes to go out and how do you know your dad loves you he does good things for me uh, being a father's day what special message would you like to say to your dad or a favorite verse or his favorite bible text 
Um, something I would like to say to my dad is, yeah. I love him, uh -huh. and I wish him a good Father's Day. How good. And would you like to sing a song? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Well done. Thank you very much, Levi. And you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Hi, Masimba. How have you been going with the lockdown and life in general? Well, I've been going really well with the lockdown, how I'm handling it. And um, yeah, it's not bad. So I just want to have a quick chat uh, or interview about you and your dad. What is your dad's name? My dad's name is Ronnie. What is something dad always says to you? Something dad always said to me was, um, work hard and never give up. What makes daddy happy? And what makes daddy happy is when I obey him and not be naughty. What makes dad sad? When I'm naughty and disobey him. What does your dad do when he comes back from my work? He eats. Uh, what is your dad really good at? Uh, he's really good at soccer. What is dad not very good at? Uh, he's not really very good at um, rugby. What is your dad's favorite food? Um, sadza. What makes you What makes you proud of your dad? Um, for having his own shop. If your dad were a cartoon character in the Bible, who will he be? Job. Why? Because he prays for his children. What do you and your dad do together? Um, we play sports. How do you know your dad loves you? Because he prays for me. What is your dad's favorite color or number or book? I'm not sure. What's your favorite verse and sing as one stanza like your dad? My favorite verse is Micah 6, 8. And it says, um, act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. And this song? The song is um, 422 Marching to Zion. And it says, Come with thy love, the Lord, and let your joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And thus around the throne, and thus around the throne. We are marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We are marching up to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Uh, hi, Tina. Hi. How are you with the, this lockdown in school and everything? Uh, there are its challenges, but getting through it. Yeah, there's so many challenges. We don't have much time to go outside. Hey, so I just wanted to have a chat with you, Tino. It's a quick interview about you and your dad. What is your dad's name? Uh, Justin Kisimisi. Oh, that's a lovely name. What What is something dad always say to you? Don't think about what everyone says, do you? Beautiful. What makes Daddy happy? Uh, probably seeing me happy. That's one of them. What makes Daddy sad? Uh, probably when I uh, probably when I do something wrong and do something wrong. What is his favorite thing to do? I guess hang out with the dogs. What do you call 
your dad? Do you call him daddy, baba, father, papa? Uh, I just call him dad. Show me dad wearing his um, sunglasses or weight clothes or uh, whatever. Or show me your dad smile. Probably. He doesn't really smile that much, so I would not know. <laughs> show me a facial expression. What's your dad's favorite food? I think it's Sadza. But yeah. Sadza? What makes you proud of your dad? Uh, the way he holds himself. Can you say that again? The way he holds himself. Thank you. If your dad were a cartoon character in the Bible, who will he be? Uh, there's probably a few, but at the moment, I would not know. What do you and your dad do together? Uh, we talk about things that happen um, at school, at home, things over there, just uh, things that happen around us, I guess. What do you and your dad do together? We probably just talk on the phone together. Okay. How are you and your dad the same? Uh, I'm not really sure, but maybe some things that we do. And how are you and your dad different? How he does some other things and how I do some of my things like uh maybe he's more of a person that's into soccer and i'm more of a person that's into basketball i see and what does your um um how do you know your dad loves you uh probably by the way his tone of voice when he speaks to me where is your dad's favorite place to go uh maybe victoria falls it's a beautiful place and special message you would like to say to your dad uh it's probably just a verse i have probably one verse eight it says my son hear when your father corrects you and never neglect your mother's instructions oh beautiful and can you sing a song your dad likes? Just one stanza. I can't Just sing, one. but I can tell you that his favorite song is 163, and the title of it is Here Am I, Send Me. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Anything else you would like to say about your dad and Father's Day and what you expect a um, father? should do i'll just say happy father's day to you yeah thank you tino have a good day thank you uh hi Lundele. hi uh this is just a quick interview about you and your dad um how is how have you been going with the lockdown and learning from home um it's sometimes it gets challenging but it gets easy to adjust it's easy to adjust to um the new uh, the new environment that we're in what is your dad's name mobile what is something dad always says to you is to always slow down uh like if i'm doing something i'll try to go fast but he'll always tell me to slow down good what makes daddy happy um he is happy when um things are working like if he's doing something and it, and he figures out something or he tries he tries to do something and it works that's good and what what makes daddy sad if things don't go the way they're supposed to go uh like uh, if they don't go as planned. Like? 
like if he's fixing something and it um, doesn't work or it breaks uh, then he'll yeah then he gets sad what does your dad do when you are not around um he sometimes he'll he'll just he'll just sit on the couch and watch TV or he'll fix something in the house okay and can you show me uh, your dead smile oh that's wonderful is that his smile yes what is your dad really good at uh, my dad is very good at maths and what is your dad not very good at? Um, probably, he says he's not too good at English. Okay. And what's your dad's favorite food? Maybe, maybe pasta. Pasta. So if your dad were a cartoon character in the Bible, Oh, David. Paul. Paul, why? Because um, he he like instructs people to do things. And what do you and your dad do together? Oh, uh, me and my dad we uh. Sometimes we'll do math together or we'll fix the fix some things around the house together. Okay, and how are you and your dad different? My dad is very serious and I am not that serious. And what is um how, how are you and your dad the same? We are both very good at um, sport. You're quite athletic, that's good. And how do you know your dad loves you? Uh, I know my dad loves me because he tells me that he does. Okay. And what's your dad's favorite color? A book. Favorite color probably blue. What is the or where is your dad's favorite place to go? Um, I think his favorite place to go would be maybe Zimbabwe. Yes, one is one. And being Father's Day this week, uh, what's your special message to your dad or his favorite verse or your favorite Bible text? Uh, thank you for everything that you've done for me and the family and I really appreciate it. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Do you have a song or... Something he would like to, to sing for us? Just one line or one stanza? Rock of ages, clear for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riverside we flow. Be of sin, the double cure. Cleanse me from his guilt and power. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Have a good day. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Are you managing to study well in high school work? Yeah. That's pretty good. What is your dad's name? Um, Kudzai Imayo. Ah, that's a lovely name. What is something dead always say to you? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what
when you wake up or when you go to school, what does he say to you? Um, what did the teacher say? Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. Uh, what makes daddy happy? Um, food, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what makes daddy sad? Um, I'm not sure. So he's, he's always happy, Dad. That's good. <laughs> what is his favorite thing to do? Um, I know, he, I know, he loves reading. <laughs> Is <that> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think he likes being outdoors the most. Yeah. That's nice. Get fresh air. Yeah. Um, can you show me your dead smile? Um can what is your re, your dad really good at? Um sports and stuff. Yeah. And what is your dad not very good at? By uh maybe cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What is your dad's favorite food? Um, garlic bread. Garlic bread, yummy. <laughs> what makes you proud of your dad? Um, that is, he's helpful and he's not afraid to try new things as well. That's good. If your dad were a cartoon character in the Bible, who will he be? I would say he would be maybe um, Samuel. <laughs> I don't know. Sam- Samuel was a good one. Yeah. What do you and your dad do together? Uh, me and my dad like to play sport together. Uh, that's nice. How are you and your dad the same? <laughs> um, we have the same interests, sort of. Um, and we also have the same tastes in food as well. Oh, that's nice. And how do you, how are you and your dad different? Um, I enjoy cooking. He doesn't as much. Uh, what, what is your dad's favorite color or favorite book or favorite number? Hmm. I don't, I, I don't think he has a favorite number, but his favorite book would be the Bible. Yeah. That's a great one. And what is your dad's favorite place to go? Um, Zimbabwe. To home, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have a special, special message you'd like to say to your dad? Is it's Father's Day, as you know, or any favorite verse, your favorite verse, or his favorite verse? Um, his favorite verse is, I think it's Isaiah 40, verse 31. And mm-hmm. it's, um, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Yeah, I think. Wow, that's wonderful. Do you, would you like to sing a little stanza or one line? <laughs> sing, like, sing like you're dead. This is my father's prayer. Yep. Okay. Hi, Rod. Hello. Do you like to be called Rod or Rodney or King? Doesn't really matter. 
Okay, so today it's a quick interview about your father, your dad. Um, what is your dad's name? His name is Ronnie Payasi. What is something dad always says to you? Um, read your Bible. Uh, what makes daddy sad? Uh, when you are misbehaving. What makes daddy happy? Um, presents, gifts, like food. Um, what is your fav what is his favorite thing to do? Um, play sport. What sort of sport does he play? Soccer. Can you show me your, your dead smile? Show me when he is angry or giving you a sign that that's not right. Oh, that's a scary face. Um, what is your dad really good at? Playing soccer. What is your dad not very good at? Um, playing t tennis against me. <laughs> what makes you proud of your dad? Um, him owning a shop. What is your dad's favorite food? Sadza. If your dad were a cartoon character in the Bible, who will he be and why? He would be Daniel because Daniel was curious to know what was in the scriptures and yeah. What do you and your dad do together? Um, talk and chat. How are you and your dad the same? Facial looks. How are you and your dad different? Um, character. How do you know your dad loves you? Uh, given a hug or gifts. What, does your, what is your dad's favorite color, number, or book? Book? Uh, the Bible. Uh, can you sing a song like your dad? One stanza. Uh, I'll sing Burdens Are Lifted at Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Thank you. And what's, what is, do you have a special message you would like to say to your dad or dads or favorite verse or text? Um, I have a favorite verse um, which comes from First Thessalonians 5 verse 16 to 18. It says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you. Is there any message you would like to say to to fathers this Father's Day? Happy Father's Day and to all the fathers out there and to all the becoming fathers out there. Um, make sure you read your Bible and ask God for guidance in your life that through you, you can also teach your children what the light God has given you and it will benefit them. Thank you. We've come to the end of our interview. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you.